Hi, Katie. Thanks. Yes, time for the buzz. I'm Lou Turner in for Brooks Baptiste with the buzz this morning. All right, during the recent protests across our country, thousands of people have been fighting for justice from law enforcement and reform as well. But they've also shown us in many moments here a unity between police officers and the communities that they serve. All right, let's take a look at the buzz. Two JSO officers called in over the weekend. So someone made a call. They were worried a protest at a Walmart on Beach Boulevard was going to enter into the store. However, when JSO arrived, they found that's not the case at all. Instead, officers Jason Letterman and Brad Dawson said protesters were very, very nice circled in prayer before they began their protest. The officers even took that photo with them. No arrest made, no need to. And in Columbia County, a man traveling from Texas stopped and grabbed this photo as a gas station. Uh, the deputy consoling another man. I don't know the whole story behind this, but it is a touching photograph. The traveler touched by the act, called the sheriff's office to speak to the supervisor and shared that photo with them. And I know it's been shared a lot throughout social media uh, for sure. And so, uh, Keitha, we see these photos and uh, these are wonderful touching moments and they certainly help. Um, but it, again, the cause is so much bigger uh, than, than just a, a few photographs uh, sharing uh, on social media. I just wanted to get your take. Yeah, I think it's important to share posts like that because I, I always say, I think when I see these images that it's important for people to remember that there's fear on both sides. There are officers out there that are fearful for their own lives, just like the protesters are. And also there are a lot of officers, not all, but a lot who really genuinely care about the people they serve. So again, it's important for folks to share those posts as well as us as well uh, in the media to, to remind people it's not all doom and gloom. And there are some officers who genuinely care about the people that they serve. Oh, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I think the same can be said on social media when when uh, things like what was going to happen in San Marco with people saying, oh, my gosh, there's going to be there's going to be violence. There's there's going to there's going to be looting, et cetera. And we find out that it's actually it was extraordinarily peaceful. The same can be said for the protest in Jacksonville. Other than one or two days over the weekend, things have been phenomenal, really, and, and peaceful uh, yeah. with these demonstrations. Katie, you see these uh, these pictures as well. Of course, hitting the share button is, is so important to kind of keep a little happiness on the timeline. I do. I hope that we can find out more about the picture from Columbia County. Yeah. I think that is such a beautiful, powerful photo. Um, I, I would love to hear, you know, the story from the officer as well. But like Keith said, I do think it's important to show those pictures as well. It just it gives you another perspective on everything that's going on. And, and those are two just really beautiful instances.